morning lovelies i thought we would do something fun that i've never done before on this channel and that is an instagram controls my writing day type video i think these are so fun to watch i love watching them in booktube and lifestyle content and it's just a great way to like get you guys involved too so i let you guys all know on instagram what was happening and i put up my first poll which is where am i starting my writing day it's been about 30 minutes so i think we could check the poll and see what everyone has voted on oh yep okay so local coffee shop definitely winning so i'm gonna head out there in just a little bit but i thought i would kind of recap a bit on what i'm gonna be working on now that i have finished bitter bones the past week i have secretly been rereading and going over my revision plan for project Project Pyro, which is my YA social thriller horror. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Last year, I finished writing the first draft of this project. I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting to get back to it for a long time. I don't really have a good pitch for it, but it's about a girl who's like poor from Appalachia. She's like wrong side of the tracks, ex-convict. Do you call kids ex-convicts? ex juvie vict and for no reason really at all she gets invited to this really prestigious school and she's like why am i here why did i get invited and then other disabled girls start missing around go missing like around school so that's all i have hopefully it's fun <laughs> it's called project pyro because my main character is a pyromaniac which has been fun to play with as well but i reread the first seven chapters that i had in the second draft so the first draft's finished and i got seven chapters through the second and then i had to take a break and work on bitter bones so i popped the book on my kindle not terrible i mean bad but not terrible i mean it is second draft form so for me this is just like working on the plot and like telling myself the story and making sure i have the sequence of events in order and getting rid of placeholders basically voice not really there character development is okay it needs to be deeper pros are atrocious i'm not even worried about that right now the dialogue is also coming off like a little bit like cheesy and a little melodramatic and i'm like mm, not loving that but that's third draft Lindsay's problem. <laughs> and then once I completed the read through, I just dove right back in. And in fact, I am now up to chapter 11. The chapter that I'm gonna be working on today, my main character, she's going to the library because she found out some things, some facts, some drama, some tea that don't really make sense. And so she's gonna get her little fingers on the keyboard, plickety clacking and do her own little research. I'm gonna go ahead and put the second poll up. So when I get to the coffee shop, I can just like dive right in. I am gonna be asking you guys if I should just write straight through continuous or if I should do like Pomodoro sprints. The gods have spoken. We hunt. <laughs> you guys are a very bad influence. Hello, Gobbity Gooks. Well, we definitely squish hunted <laughs> and then some. First of all, it's me in Squishmallow form, okay? Her name is Kravina? Oh, it's a he. Sorry, I did not ask your pronouns. He has an eye for all things retro, lava lamps, classic cars, tie-dye. Boy, how are you driving a car? I thought he would just look really cute on my desk when I don't have like seasonal stuff up. And for all my fantasy girlies out there, 
I got a little Cthulhu. Look at it. His name is Theodo and he lives in a swamp. Same. I got this little milk for Santa one. Her name is Arlene. She's a movie actress who does holiday rom-coms. And then as you guys may have seen, I like to carry a little squish on the end of my fanny pack and I wear seasonal ones. So for Christmas, I got this little gingerbread cat. Oh my gosh. His name is Jones and his card says that he is an attorney at Paul. I also wanted a new bag. I love crossbody bags right now. And I saw this really cute Sherpa one, I guess is the material. And a nice little beige strap. So got her. I really love dainty jewelry right now. So I just got this basic little gold chain. And then also this one with a little sun on it. Because I don't know, yellow, sunshine, happiness. It all just feels very me. All right, now let's talk about the writing I got done. I did the 20 minute sprints because that is what you guys chose, which actually worked quite well for me. I was able to get up, refill my coffee, stretch a little bit, and then get back into it, which was good. So I liked that. I got the entirety of chapter 11 done. Woo woo. I'm so happy about that. It was fine. It was fine. Again, we're working in draft two and draft two is still kind of messy. I'm still just really focusing on the plot and like the sequence of events within the scene. So for example, in the scene, I know she goes to the library. I know she sits down and gets on a computer that she's not logged into. I know she finds some information and I know at the end it ends with her getting a phone call. That's about all I knew. So it's like filling in the blanks. That's what I'm doing. And I'm not worrying about doing them in a pretty way. I'm not worried about doing them in a voicey way or writing in depth, like really poignant character arc moments. Those I have in there as lines. I'll be like plot, 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 plot. And I will have a sentence that'll be like, and this will impact her character arc in this way. And this is the emotion she should be having here. That is how I second draft. I really want to hit home how messy drafts are for me because I've been sharing more of my first and second drafts with you guys in previous videos and you guys seem to really enjoy seeing that. I think for everyone, not just you, but like for me when other people also show their early drafts, it's just very, it, it feels like there's solidarity. Like we all suck equally. It's okay. <laughs> it's a first draft. So I really want to make sure I'm chatting more about the realities of early drafts and also like just where I am in the book. Like what's happening? You don't need to know spoilers. Like I don't need to talk about those. But I like when people talk about what they're currently working on, like what their project's about, who their characters are, what scene they're in, and like what's going down. And then before I left the store, I put up another poll to see what workout I was doing today. Oh, okay, so I put up the option of boxing, dancing, or yoga, and it looks like so far dancing is winning. I wonder if y'all picked that because you want clips of me dancing. Yeah, you're not getting that. I love myself too much to put that on the internet.
hello okay so my timer just went off 25 minutes didn't do so hot let's see where we are word count wise 394 words in 25 minutes but i can explain i'm starting a new chapter right so i had to take time to read over chapter 12 reimmerse myself in the details of it and this chapter is kind of like a bit of a big deal my main character is meeting up with someone from her past someone she has a very complicated relationship with and up to this point i have not foreshadowed enough of this relationship so obviously that'll be something i'll go back in in another draft and do but still even with the foreshadowing there's a lot of like groundwork that i have to play with and i was kind of figuring out where certain flashbacks should go where inside jokes should fall things like that so i didn't get a lot of actual words but i moved a lot of pieces around quite well but it's getting dark so I need to go inside back inside I had to take the big blanket off because it's actually quite warm I'm very much ready to kind of wind down for the night I think that I'm gonna do maybe like two more polls the first one I'm gonna do is decide what dessert that I'm gonna have tonight we have two dessert options we're gonna do Walt Whitman versus George Orwell Whitman we're gonna have coffee cake and for Orwell we're gonna have sticky toffee pudding he technically likes plum pudding the best that's his favorite dessert but this is just about as close to the recipe of a plum cake that I could find that I'm still interested in I'm not gonna lie the quality between these two astronomical chasm worlds live between the two so i'm really hoping that everyone picks orwell but i think my last poll is going to be am i gonna read the rest of the night before bed or do i want to start a new switch game i did get a new cozy switch game called into the woods it looks very autumnal so i wouldn't be mad about either Walt Whitman. To Wallaby Whitman.